Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today is the uh, Jewish fast day called Asarab Tevet, the 10th day of the Hebrew month of Tevet. And it's one of the minor fasts, so that means that it's not a full 24 to 25 hour fast like we have on Kippur and Tisha B'Av. It's a shorter fast that begins at uh, dawn and it ends at uh, Seta Kochavim, the emergence of three medium-sized stars, I believe. Uh, now, I'm not a rabbi, I'm not a religious authority by any means whatsoever, and I'm not gonna, that's why I'm, I, the details are sketchy to me, I'm not gonna talk about them. What I wanted to do instead um, was, I thought would be interesting to take a look at one of these Manim calculators in order to see how much these Manim are going to change depending on um, exactly where you are in the world. Now, that's basically because Jewish religious times uh, as Manim are based around the sun and uh, basically where you are in the world is going to make a difference to uh, the sun time, particularly as you go west and east, it's gonna make a difference. Uh, so here is the Zmanin, here's one of the Zmanin calculators it's on the uh, Chabad website actually. And typically one of these Zmanin calculators, they'll have presets for all the major Jewish cities. So whether you're in Jerusalem or New York or Boston or any city with a sizable Jewish population, they'll have that as a preset but they'll also give you the option to calculate Zmanim based upon your geo coordinates, which is really useful if you're spending Shabbat in some random village in Iceland uh, that has no Jews and is not, on, is not a preset on any of the calculators. So that's why that exists and it's really helpful. So on the, there's a couple of them. There's also myzmanim.com, but I'm gonna use the Chabad calculator uh, in this instance. Now, if we go on to uh, more options, you can either put in a location or you can click on use coordinates latitude and longitude okay um so what i'm going to do here is just for the purposes of demoing um, i'm going to choose two random locations in a city and i'm going to see what much how much of a difference that makes so let's go into jerusalem here and let's choose somewhere in east jerusalem as far east as we can go that's for the sake of accuracy let's let's pick a jewish neighborhood so let's take Talpiot Mizrach Armona Natsiv, and let's pick a random point here. So we can see by right clicking, uh, actually, I'm actually gonna do that again, by right clicking on Google Maps anywhere. So if I right click here, for instance, it's gonna give you here uh, the geo coordinates. In this case, it's 31.75158. That's the latitude, and 35.24106 is the longitude. Now, some, one thing to know about latitude and longitude. If it's a positive value, it means north. It's a north, so you can see 31 here is positive. Um, that's a degrees north of the equator, and it's a positive integer for longitude. That means east of Greenwich. So if it's west, it's going to be negative. And likewise, if latitude's gonna be negative, it's going to be, uh, that's gonna mean you're somewhere in the south uh, equator. Uh, just to demonstrate both those things. So if you went somewhere, let's say, in the south equator here, that was west of uh, Greenwich and let's just pick this random location here we can see we've got two negative values it's negative uh, 14 degrees latitude and it's negative 39 degrees on longitude so just a just a little thing to know um, in order to make sure that you're getting accurate geo coordinates so let's go back to this uh, random place here in uh, Talpiot and uh, it doesn't really matter where I choose so let's just go for somewhere like this 31 point seven five three eight two five now the other thing to say about geo coordinates is that there's two common ways to denote them so this is the decimal system here it gives each a decimal but there's another way and that's writing it in terms of degrees of latitude or longitude minutes of latitude or longitude and seconds and minutes and seconds are each 60 they're different denotation systems now you can use I'm just gonna move this clipboard over to my other screen here. You can use a tool like this if for whatever reason you need to convert between the two. So here I'm putting in my uh, latitude here and I'm gonna put in my decimal longitude and convert, and I can convert that to uh, both latitude and longitude expressed in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So that's just really a useful thing to know as well. If you do have a tool for calculating Zmanian that actually expects you to put in the uh, geo coordinates in that format. So with the um, Chabad website here, it doesn't actually specify uh, which I'm going, which it's going to ask for. So what I'm just gonna do, put in what I got out of Google Maps here. So I'm gonna put my latitude as 31.75, my longitude as 35.24 plus other decimals. 
And I'm going to call this a location East Talpi East Talpiot. Okay. And I'm going to click Submit. An error has occurred. Please select it. Ah, please select the value for the time zone. Okay, so I'm just going to do this again. Time zone is going to be a UTC plus two. Does not matter which city you choose. And we're off. Okay, so this is calculating for a custom location, and you can actually see that it's 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 kosher with the decimal format. Um, if it, if these were appearing with little symbols for uh, degrees which is a uh, degree symbol and minutes of uh, latitude longitude, which is a single quotation symbol and uh, seconds, which is going to be a double quotation mark. You'd know that you'd entered in a format that was not expected. So just make sure that you're, uh, you're giving it something it likes. And so, and based on that, you should be getting accurate calculations. Now we look here, we can see that it's calculated the time the fast ends today as being 5.04 PM. Now there's different opinions about uh, if you go to the top here, you can usually see this rabbi says this, this rabbi says this. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to, the purpose of this video is just to show what kind of a change you can expect from small differences here in uh, east and west within a city. So that was our place in East Talpiot. I'm just going to mark this down here. So for East Talpiot, uh, we achieved a uh, fast end time. Uh, East, East Talpiot Seitiko Chavim equals 17. Uh, zero four hours. Now we're going to repeat the experiment, but we're going to go west. So let's go to somewhere west that's technically still in Jerusalem. So let's say uh, Harnof, that is still, I believe, within Jerusalem municipalities. Now its geolocation is 31.783030499, uh, 30.4499, uh, 35.17. So this was the geo coordinates of Talpiot. These are the geo coordinates of um enough. what i'm going to do now is run these into um change the location in the zamanian calculator so i'm going to go uh, to change location keep the time zone and i just need to overwrite uh, these geo coordinates with the updated one it's also going to be utc plus two and this time we're going to call this at uh, har nof jerusalem okay let's just verify that uh, this has worked out here Nope, that's still showing the first one, so almost something's gone a little bit wrong here. 31.7830499 and 35.1759969 um, and Harnof Jerusalem. And I'm gonna just hit submit again. Yeah, okay, so we've got the they've got the right ones now. And now it's showing that fast ends as 504. So there's actually no time difference uh, if we moved within Jerusalem. So just to give you an example of how far we are between these two points, being very approximate here, measuring uh, from this point here in uh, Givat Shaul um, and going all the way to this point here in, let's see where we were, Tapiot Mizrach. Okay, I've kind of just screwed this up a small bit here. I'm gonna give this another go. It's a little bit hard to do the measuring thing at this level of scale. Measure distance to Talpio Mizrach. There we go. So that's a distance of about six kilometers. And as the, that's as the crow flies between these two locations. Now, 504 was going to be our, start, our starting point. So let's see if we go to Mevatseret Sion and some west point in this, if we're going to start getting different times. So I'm going to repeat the experiment here. Uh, going to be taking those this copy to the clipboard. So now I'm going to be putting up here. Yep. Mevaseret, Mevaseret Sion. And we can see now that we are 31 point. Um, so the, if you see here, this figure is what's really important. This is a longitude figure. So this was 31.17. And now we're at 31, this is rounding of course. Now we're at 31.14. So the longitude is less, therefore it's less west of Greenwich. And therefore it's, uh, it's, uh, it's west of the first point. So we should get a, uh, later time, I think. But let's see, we'll put these into the calculator here. And again, again we're gonna do a change location function here. And now we're going to uh, 31.80 and 31.15. And we're gonna call this uh, Mev Aseret Sion. 
hit the submit, still at 504. No difference yet. Um, and let's see how far we went here. We went from Let's give or take 10 uh, kilometers as the crow flies. So let's go a little bit further. Let's go not somewhere that the times be the same, but let's go all the way over to somewhere in Modi in here. And I'm gonna do again the same thing. Copy those to clipboard and uh, put this up here. And we're gonna get this as our times in Modi in. And hopefully we should have a different time according to the calculator. Uh, change location here. And let's hit submit. And now we have 505, finally. So um, I don't know if that was interesting. That was just to, I guess, show what kind of a difference uh, location makes in terms of getting different money. So what we found was that Jerusalem is a pretty small city uh, in all its directions. So about, we went up to 10 kilometers, we got the same time. Uh, sorry, five kilometers in Jerusalem, then we went to 10 kilometers between Talpiot Mizrach and Mevert Seretzion, we got the same time. And then when we, when we moved um, another 26 kilometers as the crow flies going westwards, the time that the fast ended was one minute later. So that is how to look up as Manim according to geo coordinates on one of these websites. And those are the sort of differences you can expect to see.